Okay, I'm scanning that there's people, and we're at a table. Love it or not. Today I chose to talk about Matthew 25, 31 through 46. Um, because of what I do for work, I'm in social services and I work with homeless veterans, um, and this one speaks uh, really closely to my heart. And it's, uh, when the Son of Man comes into glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be the gathered all the nations and he will separate people from one another as, as shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you are, come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you as a stranger welcome you or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer him, truly I say to you, as you did to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. So the reason that um, resonates so strongly with me is because I am in a psych program. I'm going on to get my social work degree. I already work in social services. I already feed the hungry and clothe the people that don't have clothes. And I actually work in a program where I house um, homeless veterans that are literally living on the street. So. This passage really speaks to why I do what I do, not only because it's the right thing to do, but also because God literally tells us word for word that we should be doing it. And if this passage goes on to say that if you don't do it and you pass by these people and you don't feed them or clothe them, that you're not gonna sit with him in heaven. So um, it's, it's bigger than just what's best for society. It really speaks to what God calls us to do um, directly in his name. Okay, the end. Good, 244.